I think it's a mixture of both. Uh, give them credit. They came out and got after us and, uh, you know, a little bit more pressure on what we thought. So, uh, they, they were excited to be there, obviously. We were too. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just I think it's a little mixture of both. We, you know, we lost concentration there on some of our shots uh, inside. Outside didn't matter. Uh, I thought our looks were good. Uh, we got the ball exactly where we needed to go, right down, down on the post. Uh, uh, we had our kickouts. We had good looks at threes. We just didn't hit shots today. Um, I think at halftime we're shooting 37%. We definitely shoot better than that as a team. We're a 47% um, field goal percentage team, and uh, that's 10% off. That's that's a, that's big uh, when you're in a game like this. Coach, you play a very tough schedule against a lot of teams, but have you played anybody all year long who was as disciplined in their shot selection as these guys were against you tonight? Um, yeah, you know, I can think of a couple teams that we have played. Um, uh, Jay County won. Uh, I think they're even more uh, disciplined in their shots. Uh, they they want to have a game in the 40s, to be honest with you. Um, and their defense is tremendous as well. We've played in those games. We've, we've beaten teams like that, Columbia City and Jay County. Uh, uh, you know, like I've said earlier in the week, uh, our guys are, are ready for any type of game. Uh, fast pace, slow pace, it doesn't matter. Our guys will adjust and we'll adjust as coaches, uh, get them ready, prepared. Uh, again, you know, we just miss some shots here and there. Uh, if we make those shots, obviously, I think it's a different ball game because we're not fouling at the end and doing those kind of things. Coach, well, obviously, it's hard to put in perspective right now. Even with the loss tonight, you guys accomplished a lot of firsts this year. Oh, definitely. Um, nobody expected us to be sitting here. Um, I'm going to say Muncie Central. Everyone's saying Muncie Central penciled in in August. Uh, and we kind of took took that uh, to note. Uh, we were going to come out and we are going to prove everybody wrong. Um, you know, that's the attitude that we have day one. Uh, we're going to beat Muncie Central. We're going to get there. Uh, on both ends, you couldn't get into a room. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think we came out nervous. Um, obviously, a big stage. I never played like anything like this. So last last week it was pretty, pretty packed house too. But um, yeah, we just neither side were really hitting shots. Um, it just it was just a matter of coming out playing hard. I mean, we all we all we both teams did. They're good. They're a good ball club. Um, yeah, the shots didn't fall for me, especially, and we just I don't know. Garrett, what do you think of the honor of? Um the Mental Attitude Award. I'm um, happy to get it. Uh, obviously, I traded for a blue ring any day of the week, but um, yeah, I was I was surprised. I didn't know I didn't see it coming at all, and it was nice. And I guess a nice surprise after a loss, but either way, I had a blast of a season. These guys are awesome. The coaches are awesome. And it's been a fun year. Randy, what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, he's a great kid. Um, you know, he's going. He's always been our leader here um, for our team. Uh, you know, he's going to do great things outside of Norwell uh, at the collegiate level after, you know, when he gets has his career. You know, he's just a great kid. Um, any one of these kids up next to me would deserve that as well. I mean, it's in any of them in the locker room there. Um, the whole team is great. The uh, whole program is great. We have great kids overall. So uh, it's just not Garrett's, uh, all the other ones that we have on our team uh, and our program. Caleb, can you talk about, obviously, this point right now, but can you talk specifically about being up there and being in this game and, and just what that means to this group of buddies up there? Um, it obviously means a lot since it's the first time in school history, and it sucks that we can't, we didn't finish it off, but it's been a great year. It's been a fun ride, and this tournament run's been a blast. Grant, um, Talk about their uh, guard number, uh, Paige, who was really getting some drives on you guys. He was tough to contain no matter who was trying to guard him. Yeah, every time he beat us, he would find the open man. So, uh, Tell me how hard they were to defend because they were very deliberate in, in what they were looking for, but then they also had a lot of quickness as well. I mean, they just found the, the open guy and they hit shots. So. They do a nice job of... Uh, spreading the floor when they get, got the lead, and we knew that was going to come. I was waiting for them to do it. I thought they were going to do it a little sooner, but they do a nice job spreading the floor when they have a little lead, and uh, dribble penetrating. has quickness up there with Paige, and uh, he's able to dribble drive penetrate, uh, break down out front, and uh, get the big guys down low or kick out for a three, uh, mostly down low, and uh, that's how they got some layups there towards the end, easy buckets. and um, yeah. Garrett, what do you think this uh, group of seniors is going to leave behind 
uh, for uh, future Norwell players? To um, I think definitely the community uh, has really come together. Um, this group of seniors, we led, I don't know, with Josh, we led our team to state finals, and that's all we could really ask for. I mean, obviously, a win would be nice, but definitely, I think we have a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> I think we got a lot of kids looking up to. It's just the community today. We got letters in the locker room from all the teachers at Norwell. I'm just telling us good luck. We're proud of, proud of you, whatever. And just the support behind the community. It's just brought us all together as one. So I hope, hope we'll continue in the years, I think, with Hawkins as a coach. I got a good shot at that. <laughs> Kyle, what? A little bit about what this week has meant to the, the school, okay? with, with Jessica, with you guys, with everything that has just. Well, it, it's been a great week, obviously, with the, for our basketball team to go where no other basketball team has gone as far as the boys' side. And it uh, uh, means a lot. So, you know, we, we talked about what it means to other kids as well. Um, you know, I, I, I think some things winning trickles down to the younger levels. and. Um, you know, as long as they go out and play hard and do what we do and do our thing, uh, you know, we're going to have success on the basketball court and obviously go out there and have fun. But, again, the, the week has been tremendous for us. Uh, Jessica Rupp, right, we missed basketball and, you know, and having, having our guys at State and great, a really neat pep session the other day and for our guys and for her. And uh, Again, I think it just, it just says what, what Norwell is all about. Uh, the kids who go out there on the, on the court, perform, uh, just not only in basketball, but as far as the baseball field and the football fields and uh, every, everything that we do, they go out there and perform hard. And you know, since 2006, we've, we've had baseball and football in the state uh, final game. Now we have basketball. So uh, that just says a lot about normal kids and how we perform.